last thing we're gonna do is I have a chilled cake here. So I'm gonna cut my cake. And what I have is my quarter sheet cake that's well chilled. I made it two days ago and let it sit in the, actually um, put it in the refrigerator and then I put it in the freezer, but it's been, it's been defrosting, so. If it's completely frozen solid, it's not gonna cut, so that's why I just put it in the fridge. But I do want it chilled and settled. Don't, don't wanna do this with a fresh cake that you just made, okay. And then what I have here is I have a piece of paper. It's a, this is one of the 11 by 14s or whatever. It's a, a legal size piece of paper. And I just folded it in half and then kind of drew my pattern. It's a very simple slope, kind of like a bowling pin. It's just very simple. Okay, and again, if you, you know, you can find, if you look up the Russian nesting doll or Matryoshka doll, you can find them um, online patterns for them but I fold it in half and cut it and that way it's even on both sides so we're going to put this on here and it's slightly longer here at the bottom I don't know if you can tell it's slightly longer that's okay I'm just gonna cut that part off the top part is the important part so when I put this on here we're just gonna cut around it and again this is a very simple if you've never carved a cake before this is the one the type to start with very easy carving and get used to carving okay and with the cake firm it makes it really easy to cut when it's been uh, chilled and the serrated knife really helps you could use toothpicks to hold your pattern in place just put toothpicks in there and hold it down but I'm not worried about being exact Okay. Once we have this general shape cut, you can, we, what we want to do is round the edges so it'll look more like a carved wooden doll. So you just kind of, you can use scissors or you can use your knife. You've already got your knife in your hand, so you might as well. All right, so we're just going to cut it gently. Okay, so a little bit, cutting off those edges so it's rounded. Your cake is chilled. It makes it nice and easy. You have less crumbs when you're cutting. A lot of any imperfections I have will be hidden with the buttercream frosting. You'll notice I'm not rounding the bottom here. I probably could. I didn't on purpose though, because um, that's where she sits. Maybe I'll round it anyway. Let's clean this up then. Get all the crumbs out of the way. 